G'day, I'm Aussie Mark. Thanks for stopping by my video. Today, we're going to review the Ghoul RC T47. That was sent to me kindly by RC Moments for a review. So thank you very much to RC Moments. If you guys haven't already been over to check out what they have on their side, please go over and have a look. Let's get started. The T47. So let's have a look at it. That's the um, box that it comes with. Nice case, it's just part of uh, the drone and its features. So if, as we open that up, nice bit of padding on there. And there you've got your Ghoul RC T47 and the remote control. We take that out. And underneath, of course, we've got our bag with some spare props. Uh, screwdriver and um, underneath that the charger USB charger so it doesn't take too long to charge up the uh, the charger is uh, just plain dark while it's charging and it turns red when it um, is char fully charged as you can see they include three booklets with the drone I thought that was a little bit of overkill till I realized that each booklet is in two different languages English and Chinese then French and German and finally Spanish and Portuguese so let's have a quick look four arms just click into place press the on off button and that's it there the Ghoul RC T47 It's a camera drone of course as you can see and the camera is adjustable. There's bright white lights on the front and red ones on the back for orientation. You can fly the T47 just with a gravity sensor controller and if you want to take photos and videos you download the app and connect to the Wi-Fi because the photos and video buttons are on the app and record to your phone. To fly you just tilt the controller left or right to fly left or right tilt it down for forwards and up for backwards. On the front is the rates button with three options. One beep is slow, two is medium and three is fast. So as you can see there's an on off button on the side. On the top you've got your ascend, descend, pan left and right controls. You press it to auto start and again to auto land. There are four buttons plus the on-off indicator on the handpiece. The light will flash until you bind it to the T47 when it becomes solid. Those buttons are starting on the top, you've got headless mode. To the right we've got the calibration button which you hold for two seconds to calibrate the gyros. Down the bottom we've got the escape button. So that if you're about to hit something, or someone, perish that thought, you'll kill the motors to avoid an accident. The left button, well, that's for connecting, um, controlling the lights. That'll give you a couple of extra minutes of flight time. Well, and maybe an extra minute anyway. So it saves a bit on battery life. Let's grab the drone and turn it on. The lights will flash as you can see because we haven't got the quad bound to the controller yet. To fly, turn the controller on first, then the drone, then move the joystick up and down to bind and get solid lights. Now that we've got solid lights back and front, Let's take off. Let's press the button. That gets the motors going. And then up we go. And then as you can see, I'm in rate one. Slow, left, right, towards us, away from us. It's not bad, is it? 
And that's in rate one and you heard the wind. Let's try let's change rates. Now we're oh that was two. We're now in three. So we can go forward and backwards. Let's come back here. Woohoo! Actually I love it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And of course, we mainly use our, the joystick is for turning, as you can see. Then we'll bring it back by tipping it back towards us. And we've also got elevation by using the joystick as well. That's not bad at all. I can't believe it's flying in the wind this good. So this time I'm using the Ghoul RC app to fly, so I can take photos by clicking the photo icon, and video too if I want to. So we're about to take a photo now, and let's turn it around. Face it that way instead, take a photo, that's not bad. And we'll turn it around to Castle Hill. And we'll take a photo there. Okay. So here's some video. It's not really that fantastic to be honest with you. And the format's a little bit difficult to manage. So um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. You still got time to get one of these Ghoul RC T47 drones for Christmas if you hurry. The link's down in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.